you once you download tableau desktop or tableau public and when you open it this is pretty much the first the first screen that you look at okay this is the first screen that comes up when we connect to tableau the home page of it home page of tableau or the welcome screen of tableau whatever you might want to call it this section basically is divided into three parts the whole overall screen is divided into three parts the first part of it is the connectivity part meaning what are the data sources to which you can connect to from within tableau okay from within tableau what are the data sources you can connect to and tableau can connect to something as simple as a text file as an excel file to something as complex as a or as big as a hadoop okay uh, Hortonworks Hadoop Hive, you have Cloudera Hadoop, you have MapR Hadoop Hive, these are things. So these are all the various data sources to which you can connect to from within Tableau. Okay, and the next thing is, this is Tableau Professional Edition that I'm using, something that we get uh, even on the free trial for 14 days. This is the version that you would obtain. Tableau Personal Edition, Tableau Desktop Personal Edition is exactly the same of same as uh, Tableau Professional, it's just that the number of data sources that you can connect to gets limited there. Okay, you will not have so many options. And each and every data source that you're looking at, okay, Amazon, EMR, Amazon Redshift, all of these data sources that you're looking at, the connectivity to these data sources has been tested there is a native connector to each of these data sources from within Tableau. Okay, so you really not, need not worry about uh, anything at all. You know, there is a native connector, everything has been tested and only then it comes up here. And if at all there is a data source that you want to connect to which does not appear in this list, okay, then you will have to go ahead and check if that data source has an open database connectivity option. ODBC connectivity option. If it has that option, then you can use this other databases ODBC option to connect to it. For training purpose, I mean, uh, in any institute for that matter, for training purpose, we will restrict ourselves to connecting to the inbuilt data sources in Tableau. There are two data sources that would come inbuilt in Tableau. One is the Superstore, sample Superstore data source. The other is World Indicators. Apart from that, you would also need a data source called as Coffee Chain data source, sample Coffee Chain, which will be shared with y'all. Okay, all, all these actually, Superstore, Coffee Chain, uh, both of them. World Indicators, uh, not absolutely necessary, but we'll, we'll try to get away with it. Coffee Chain and Superstore are the two data sources that we will be using throughout, you know, throughout our training for all the, uh, to learn all the concepts of data visualization, to learn everything that you can do in Tableau. And these inbuilt data sources that I'm talking about, they do not come with Tableau Public. If you go ahead and look at the welcome screen or the home page of Tableau Public, once you tab or download Tableau Public onto your machines and install it, this is what comes up. You can connect to Excel, text file, access files and look at these server options. We don't have many. We don't have any actually. It's just uh, very limited. So that's the problem. That's the main difference between Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. The connectivity option reduces. You can also connect to statistical files from here like SAS files, SPSS, R files. R is something that we'll look at. but. Uh, Okay, so the first window that you're looking at is, of course, the connectivity part of it. Okay, the various data sources that you can connect to within Tableau. And another important question is, uh, thing to know is, all of them have native connectors. They have been tested and only then they appear there. Now, the next section is kind of uh, how you can open a workbook. Observe this. You can open a Tableau workbook from here, but if you go to Tableau Public, you can open from Tableau Public itself. You cannot open a local file or a workbook that you save onto your machine from here. Okay, a, a, a Tableau file from here. You have to open it only from Tableau Public. Okay, sorry, Praveen, I, I didn't get you. What is it?
okay now okay maybe you just typed in something by mistake but that's fine okay that's the difference another primary difference between tableau public and tableau desktop version as such the paid version and the free version connectivity is limited next thing opening file only from tableau public whereas on tableau desktop you could save local copies of all the files that you create which are called as tableau workbooks and the tableau presents you with a series of thumbnails of all the workbooks that you might have created on your machines right so this is like a first in first out basis meaning um say you have created multiple workbooks on your machine okay i have created more than uh, whatever it can al actually accommodate here so say i create a day 6 workbook and i save it on my machine what happens is this 1106 that you're seeing goes out okay polygon maps would shift here probably everything gets shifted and i'll have day 5 here Uh, it might not actually shift but that that is how it works okay whatever is first in would go out and the latest workbooks they keep getting added so this is nothing this is simple you could actually click on this link and open a workbook or you can go to the file menu option and open a workbook from anywhere at all this is just a quick access to the workbooks that you have created okay uh, you could directly click on the thumbnail so looking at the thumbnail you know what it actually holds this workbook here i know it's talking about polygon maps i could also click on open a workbook and then connect to this browse to the location where this particular file is stored and connect to it or i can directly connect to it from here itself series of thumbnails that you're looking at and whatever is uh, the latest keeps getting added whatever is the oldest would go away from, go away from here but for some reason say there is a workbook to which you want to connect to from always want to open from the thumbnails you don't want to really uh yes yes uh, radhika as i was telling you first in first out from this particular list that's all right if there is a workbook that you think should always remain it should never disappear from this thumbnail list that we have then you just have to pin it once you pin it what happens is these will remain permanently on your uh thumbnail list they will not go away, go away from here basically rest of them will keep getting refreshed based on multiple workbooks that you keep adding but whatever you have pinned will remain for as long as you go ahead and unpin them okay and under this section there's something called as sample workbooks so superstore regional and world indicators these are the workbooks which tableau people itself have created for us so you can go ahead and open any of these workbooks superstore regional world indicators and you can look at the various charts that they have created how they have used the data how they have represented the data what dashboards they have created what storyboards they have created you know you can uh, understand a lot of thing about tableau by looking at these workbooks as also but again this option is not available in tableau public next thing is the last uh, section which is more like for training purpose you know if you want to look at the videos from uh the tableau website how do you get started how do you connect to data what is visual analytics understanding uh, a basic understanding of what tableau is stuff like that you can go ahead and do it from here you can look at their training videos there's a visualization of a week these are visualizations that come come here from tableau public so a lot of people work on tableau public and they post their visualizations on tableau public right? because that's the only place they can save them so the team at tableau's end you know they uh, they there would be a few people who would be looking into the best of the best visualizations that get posted there and they upload it here meaning when you click on this visualization it directs you look there it directs you to the tableau public website where this visualization is actually present so you can go ahead and if there's anything that you want to you know uh analyze if there's a visualization that's in interesting and you want to further explore or understand what they've done here you can go ahead and explore it so it it comes up in tableau public these are visualizations that come from tableau public okay so that is about the first section or the welcome page how you connect to various data sources how you can quickly access your workbooks from here right and blogs and stuff is something you can you know go ahead and explore difference between tableau public and the tableau actual desktop version on the initial screen 